Okay, I'm going to now wet sand uh, my finish, which as you can see is a bit uh, orange peely, but again, that's not a problem. There's no uh, big runs to speak of. Um, there's a little bit of a, probably where I've not done so well with the, um, with the grain filler, but you know what? I can live with it. So anyway, so again, I need two hands to do this. So I'm just going to wet sand with initially with 800. Ideally, I probably would have liked to start with 1000, but looking at this finish, I think 800 will be fine. Then I will probably go either 12 or 1500 to then get rid of the 800 scratches. And then I'll do a 2000 to get rid of the 1500. Uh, see where we're at then. I do have a two and a half thousand maybe to uh, be the final bit and because I don't want to take off too much of this clear uh, and then I'll be good for the polishing so watch this space okay um, so I've just not put too much elbow grease into it but I've gone around obviously the main exposed areas because uh, I just wanted to demonstrate what I'm trying to achieve here so yes, we want a dull, sort of a matte type finish, but what we're also looking for, which is, I've got some great examples of here. You can see where these uh, little glossy little holes are. They're obviously low points. So it does mean that I've got a fair bit of polishing to go. This is probably what I'm looking for, this particular area there. So back to it. So uh, I thought I'd be clever here. I thought oh, I don't have to rub back all of it. So you can see now there's a very few, this is still on the 800 uh, run or pass, but obviously where my pick guard is gonna be, I've still got some uh, area here which I need to uh, sort out. But the rest, again, a bit more around here, but mainly mainly this section here. And then I can move on, maybe a bit more there as well, but maybe then I can move on to the 1200 or 1500, whatever my little box of tricks has for me. So I'm onto the back now, and this is a very good uh, compare and contrast. So again, where you see this, this is a, again only a, a, my first pass uh, on this, but you can see the difference there. That's the clear coat unsanded, and then this one sanded. So I shall then finish off this and then go back to the front and start on the next grade up. Okay, just mm -hmm. done a 1500 on the front. And you can see now it's looking a lot flatter. Obviously, wherever these uh, these littles, I'm not really worried about because they're all going to be covered up in any case. But wherever there's going to be exposed body, I'm paying particular attention, but not trying to go too much uh, on the edge. But already it does smell, I feel really good. But again, I think the 2000 will really make it ultra smooth. And then, uh, then we'll think about polishing. So here we are on the back. So it's just drying off, you can see it. In fact, I have a blow on it. There you go, it's almost gone. So we're nearly there, but I just wanted to admit something as well. In a, I'd had a couple of beers and I thought I'd show my friend a mock-up of what the body and the uh, neck would look like, and I dropped it. I dropped it there, and there. And what did it hit on the way down? A bicycle pedal which is not the softest thing to hit anyway so that will then give me an opportunity to um, try out a couple of make goods for those of you and I who um, have these little mishaps obviously the rest of the guitar hopefully is going to be looking really good so one of my ideas is that once I've got it all up and running and polished and everything else that I shall nip down to uh, my local perfumery and um, see if I can get a nail varnish to match 
and just touch it up because I'm not that precious that it has to be perfect otherwise I would just have to start again and I'm not going to do that anyway so there you go I feel better cleansed now for, for admitting that okay we're starting with the polishing so I've uh, like I said before I've rubbed it back now to 2000 couldn't actually find any 2500 but uh, this seems smooth enough um, I've got my polishing pad and some compound <clears throat> which is suitable for uh, clear coat uh, thanks David and um, I've literally just done a bit of a test in this corner with the um, with that and it's looking promising so I'm just going to carry on now keeping the these revolutions down a bit and also uh, not too much pressure and not leaving it on there for too long see you soon okay so the back didn't come out too bad on its first pass um but uh, this is coming out i don't know if it's all the reflections are making it a little bit but uh, i'm very hopeful obviously for the most important part which is the front so um there's the before and the after but again I'll probably do a bit more hand polishing just to bring that up better. But it's really coming along. And there we have it. With not knocks and bumps and all. It's, um, you know what it reminds me of? It's like, it's getting a guitar, second-hand guitar, which has been well looked after. But you can see, you know, there's a bit of love and knocks here and there. But... All in all, so it's got a nice solid feel to it now. It's very, it is a very light uh, body. I haven't actually weighed it, but she'll do. So let's put it all together. Just a little update to add to the excitement. Uh, nearly done on the electrics. Like I said. It's uh, going to be a moon fire wiring, which will give me a bridge, bridge and neck coil split in parallel, bridge neck coil split in series, neck, ugh, neck coil split, and then neck series. So, um, very exciting, very exciting, nearly there. And just for those of you who get immense pleasure, as I do, I'm taking these off. I should have taken the screws out, but hey. Still got some cleaning up to do and setting up and stringing up and necking up but looking good and all the electrics work i've actually uh, gone through the five settings and they work okay finished product all well strung up The uh, strings are nicely spaced. The nut was very high. I need to get a, a better bone nut. That just came with the uh, the neck. A uh, couple of string trees there. Got some um, some locking tuners which were cheap and that's why they work just about okay. Um, they had a little bit of work to do on the neck, on, this, on the uh, frets, but not much. Um, I've got Oripure uh, pickups in here and they sound bloody awesome I have to say for that for the price point that they're at unbelievable unbelievable uh, this is an El Nico 2 humbucker putting out about seven and a half ohms 
and this is the uh, P90 which is putting out about nine just over nine um, I've got the reverse plate now so the selector is at the bottom uh, I've got to volume tone selector and that's a five-way selector uh, which gives some uh, various uh, two extra tones which I'll put in the link or maybe as an image just after this uh, the bridge Wilkinson does the job uh, it's a string through uh, sorry a, 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 a top loader should I say um, which actually takes off the um, pressure on the strings and uh, is easier to bend I've got tens on this and they feel like eights so there you go um, the finish I'm happy with it's um, yeah it looks like a like I said earlier on it looks like an, a, a well cared for second hand uh, guitar rather than something which I've literally just finished doing but um, I will follow this up with a little bit of a, some sound bites of what the pickups are doing but really really pleased I think she looks great